When my videos help people learn English, I feel motivated. As long as I have enough time, I will keep making YouTube videos. These are both examples of conditional sentences using alternatives to if. Now, maybe you're asking yourself, why use an alternative? What's wrong with if? Well, for day-to-day -day spoken English, if is fine. But sometimes we like to change the way we express ourselves and alternatives to if allow us to do that. But it will only make sense if you already understand conditionals. So if you want to learn the basics or want a quick refresh, check out my conditionals series. Okay, let's start by looking at some examples in the zero conditional. When you water a plant, it grows. Unless you water a plant, it dies. When and unless can be used as alternatives to if and if not. The meaning and emphasis are the same, it's just a different way to say it. When is interchangeable with if. It means exactly the same. But it's important to remember that unless means if not. So, when you water a plant, it grows, is the same as if you water a plant, it grows. But, unless you water a plant, it dies, is the same as if you don't water a plant, it dies. It represents the negative form of the verb, and we can make the sentence with unless plus subject plus verb. For example, unless I drink a coffee in the morning, I feel tired. And that means the same as if I don't drink coffee in the morning, I feel tired. OK, let's take a look at the first conditional. As long as you wash the dishes, I will cook dinner. As long as we wake up at four o'clock, we won't miss the flight. As long as can be used instead of if to add emphasis that the if clause needs to happen for the result to happen. Basically, we're saying it's really important that this happens in order for this to happen. Using if still means the same thing there's just less emphasis on the importance of the condition. Let's look at another alternative. Should you get the promotion, you will be responsible for the whole department. In this case, should means the same as if. It doesn't change the emphasis, but it does sound more formal so it's a good alternative if you want to speak more formally. Now let's look at some alternatives for the second conditional. Even if I won the lottery, I would not quit my job. Even if I had lots of money, I would not move house. We can use even if in conditionals to emphasize strongly that if an action happened, the result would not change. The result would be the same as if the action had not happened. So, it only makes sense to use even if when the result is not expected. It doesn't really make sense to say, even if I won the lottery, I would quit my job, because the expected result is that you quit your job. OK, let's look at the third conditional. Had we lived 5,000 years ago, we would have hunted with spears. Had that rock fallen on you, it would have killed you. 
We can use had as an alternative to if, but the structure of the sentence changes slightly. Instead of if plus subject plus had, we can say had plus subject. So, had that rock fallen on you, it would have killed you, means the same as if that rock had fallen on you, it would have killed you. Okay, so we've learned a few different alternatives to if, but you're probably wondering which alternatives can be used with which conditional, because some of them can be used in all the conditional tenses, and some can't. For example, unless and even if can be used in any type of conditional, but when only really makes sense in the zero conditional. As always, there are exceptions to the rule, but this is a good basic guide. Let's practice. Using the table, try and answer the questions below with a conditional and an alternative to if. Post your responses in the comments and I'll help you if they need correcting.